Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I want to tell you a quick story. This actually happened at my job not too long ago, and it's something every cybersecurity beginner and expert needs to hear. It was gonna be about a phishing attack, and they used a thing called URL obfuscation, and they tricked the user into clicking a malicious link. So here's what happened. A vendor we work with had their email compromised. No big warning, no alert, just business as usual until one day one of our engineers got a legit looking email from them or so he thought the email had a link and it looked fine it was full of technical sounding parameters but we'll get into that later in the video why it looked that way and why the user thought it was fine he copied and pasted it into the browser then it led into a legitimate looking login page where he kept logging in his credentials but it wouldn't log him in it would just loop and loop and loop then he brought it to my attention and my thought is did this vendor tell you that he's going to be sending you any type of email consisting of file or a url and he said no did you try calling the vendor to see the vendor verified that his email was compromised and there we took immediate action as soon as it happened we unplugged the computer and i had him change all of his passwords i had to wipe his phone anything that he kept touching the links i didn't know what was happening at the time and why the antivirus didn't get triggered so the reason why it didn't get triggered is that the bad url was actually being pointed to a domain server that's pretty commonly used for uh, hosting websites and uh but this bad actor was using it to host a fake web page but it didn't trip the antivirus because i thought it was legitimate nothing got installed which also didn't trigger the antivirus but the credentials were stolen so the moral of the story is why did the user not see that this was malicious what happened well one the user thought it was coming from a trusted person because it came from a vendor's email it wasn't spoofed or anything like that it's just the email account itself was compromised the link looked legit this attack technique is called url obfuscation it's when a bad actor disguises a malicious link so well it fools even the smartest people they hide the url destination hoping you don't look too closely. So there's multiple techniques when it comes to uh, URL obfuscation. So basically right here, the first part of this URL looks okay, login.company.com, but the last part, .hacker.com, it's malicious, so it will direct you to a bad site. Even though the first part looks good, that bad part is right there at the end. And now some bad actors use legitimate places like, like say for example, cloud.cc or something like that. Since it's coming from a domain that's trusted, the antivirus won't get tripped. And this is only gathering your credentials and it's not installing anything. And once you find those hidden domains, just block them from all your users to ever access again. So if they were to click on that link in the future, it just completely blocks them, even though it looks legitimate. IP address or hex URLs. Instead of showing a normal domain name, attackers use raw IP addresses or hexadecimal versions of IPs. Here are some examples. Why it works. It hides the identity of the site by removing familiar names. Non-technical users might not recognize it's unusual, and it might bypass some filters that are looking for domain-based blacklists. URL encoding. This is what tripped up our engineer. This technique replaces characters with percent encoded intervals. Why it works. Encoding masks the real structure of the URL. It can make malicious paths or redirects. Looks like gibberish and many users won't think twice before clicking it. Redirect change aka link shorteners or hidden routes. This is where you click on a short or indirect link and it bounces you through several redirects before landing on the final malicious site. Here's an example. Why it works. You can't see the final destination until it's too late. URL shorteners are used so frequently in marketing that most people just trust them without checking. Homograph attack, fake letters that look real. These are attacks using letters from other alphabets like acrylic that look nearly identical to regular English letters. For example, why it works. Your brain sees the word Apple and assumes it's fine, but behind the scenes, the browser is connecting to a totally different domain. Most people never notice a tiny difference. URL padding with at, username trap. This trick leverages how browsers interpret the at symbol and URLs. Why it works. Everything before the at is treated like username info and most browsers ignore it. So while the first half looks like a trusted URL, the browser is actually going to a malicious site. Again, it's a trick of the eye. 
These techniques rely on distractions, confusion, and psychology. The links may look safe, but a little knowledge like knowing to read from right to left in a domain or being suspicious of encoding characters can stop these attacks cold. All this stuff mixed with social engineering could really make for a dangerous situation. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys learned a lot and uh, I'm gonna work on more little educational videos like this one. Let me know what you think in the comments and remember safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.